I come to expect that with the Leafs, right? You know, I mean, it's the same thing every year. On the streets of Toronto, Leaf fans are down in the dumps. It's disappointing. Just, uh, you know, I thought they were going to win for sure. I thought they had game seven, but it's just uh, another, another Toronto letdown with the Maple Leafs. Losing to the Canadians in round one means yet another year without the Stanley Cup. How nope. do you stay Leaf fans? You don't. Yeah, we're done. We're done. We're done. <laughs> Too many We're years. Done. We're done. Well, I'm let down like everybody. I, I think the I'm surprised that it even went to Game Seven. Brian Conacher played for the Maple Leafs in 1967, the last time the Leafs won the championship. And Brian Conacher waxed on the rebound. It really is uh, something to think that that it's been well over 50 years, and this team has had their hands on more than enough good hockey players to win Stanley Cups. Conacher believes the team lacks grit and good defense a must in playoff hockey. You're a father, you're a grandfather. How do you keep your family uh, motivated to believe that this team can ever win again? Well, the secret to it in my family is that my career gets better every year. Usually when people suffer repeated failures and disappointment, they quit, they disengage. That's the normal thing to do. Sports fans are different because it's part of their identity. It's who they are. Dr. Ben Schellenberg studies sports psychology and says fans find ways to cope. When things don't go well, the psychological immune system engages and uh, it can make us feel better. This psychologist who studies stress says fans manage loss differently. Some identify so strongly with a team. It's through that social identification where you start to sort of experience the same stress physiology that you might as if you were actually playing the game yourself. Brian Conacher's advice? I tell them to keep the faith. The world lives on hope. After all, the Raptors did it, so I feel, you know, the Maple Leafs are due sooner or later, hopefully sooner than later. Catherine McDonald, Global News.